Okay, you're going to look now at how to make uh, those longer, a little bit more interesting, I think, uh, course images in Schoology. Uh, this requires using not just Schoology, but also I use Google uh, Slides to make those images. Uh, then I want to show you also how those images look in the dashboard view, because you might want to know that in terms of how you design your new course image. So here we go. So this video will be a bit shorter. It's simply how I make this long course image over here instead of just the little silhouette or picking one of the icons that Schoology has. Nothing wrong with those icons, but I want something a little more personalized for my course. Uh, and if you do too, here's how you can do it. Um, as you can see, this long picture here was simply a composite of several things I put together in Google Slides. And you can see I've got uh, these mocked up in here, and there are actually several parts of this thing. Each one of these is, this is just a, a text box with my name in it. This is the Schoology Ambassador logo. Uh, this is the essentially the same course image here. I just tacked the sandbox uh, image on top of it. Uh, this is a picture of the textbook, which is partially covered by the course image. This is a, a logo that we have for our school, Fieldcrest Knights. Uh, and then this is a little cartoon version of myself. And I simply put all these together in uh, a slide and I've got these made together uh, so I can kind of see how they fit together uh, and line up when I put them all together and I did that. So if I took these two and sort of lined them up, you'd see how, how they line up. There's a reason for this I'll show you in a minute. Um, and to get this then to be your course image, you can simply take a screenshot of your composite that you've put together there. Um, you can use Snip. If you're using a Windows uh, PC uh, on Mac, you can do uh, something, with, uh, get a screenshot and a screen grab from selection in preview, uh, or you can do command uh, shift and number four, which then will bring up the ability to uh, also do that. On a Chromebook, uh, a partial screen grab is done by um, control plus shift, uh, and then the switch windows button that's in the, the top row. I'm gonna quickly here just do the uh, command shift four and show you then you'd have this little hashtags here that, that crosshairs that line up and you would just then select a crosshair. And as soon as I did that all the way across and then let go, I click and then drag across, it would select all that. Um, quickly here, I'll just go ahead and, and make one and I come across to the point that I want. And as soon as I let go, it's going to throw this screenshot onto my desktop. Um, I then open it, in my case, on a Mac in preview. I rotated it uh, to one side. And then that's all that I've really done with that to make that a screenshot. And then once I'm in my course, you simply go up to, say, edit the picture. <clears throat> And then you would find the one you want. Um, the original is in there, the, the new Schoology icons that they've gotten in there. Um, a little more content specific in some ways, but you just simply say attach a file and find, in my case, that particular screen grab would be uh, on the screen, uh, my desktop. But I'm not going to go ahead and change that. But you just locate the file you want to use, put it in the, in there and say save when you're done. And then you would have this new longer profile picture. Now, one of the things I found out about this longer profile picture is that um, for my courses, I had them switched around initially so that this part was on top and my uh, picture was below it. Uh, and in your course view, because when I did that, it was pulling from the top and I wanted to see that world history field crest part. Well, now you see my little cartoon icon. But the reason why I've switched this to the middle is because if you go to the dashboard view, it pulls that image from the middle of the image, or if it's just a, a regular size portrait style image, it pulls that. Whereas you do this long one, it's not pulling, it's pulling from the dashboard, it's pulling from here. The courses menu is pulling from the top. My thought was this looks funny having three, four courses with my picture, but I realized my students only have me for one course at a time. So I guess it's not really that bad. So quick tip on how to do a course image. Again, I made mine in uh, Google Slides, put it together, took a screenshot, saved that, rotated it, and then just put it in here. And that's all you have to do. Hope that works for you. Be creative. And thanks for watching.